The biggest thing on the internet today was Detective Pikachu, which I didn't even know was a thing until today, and now it's a thing. Everybody's gone bananas. Detective Pikachu mania has fl flooded the internet. And it's now time for me to watch the trailer. Now, I'm going to give you a little confession. I don't know much about Pikachu. Uh, I am a little too old to be, frankly, doing any of this. But I'm too old for Pikachu. Um, but I do not yuck on another's, an another person's yums. To, uh, you know, I like a lot of stupid crap I shouldn't like. Uh... Uh, and I also, you know, I love the Smurfs, which I think are kind of in the same general ballpark as the Pikachus. I, I was a big Smurf uh, guy. Uh, at was, I am. Who doesn't love the Smurfs? I love the Smurfs. And I, um, I even went years ago on the set of Raja Gosnell's The Smurfs in the year 2000, whenever that was. And uh, when I was a, a young uh, whippersnapper reporter and uh, visited the set, and Raja Gaznell himself looked me in the eye across a room and said, you really know your Smurfs. This was a big highlight for me. So, you know, I, I'm cool with Pikachu because, you know, I'm, I'm down with the Smurfs. I, I think that that is self-evident. So let's watch now for the first time on, on my watch, Detective Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds, who is not Ryan Gosling. Ryan Reynolds is the lesser of the Ryans, no offense, but he's been in some good movies, very good movies. Um, he was in a movie that I love with Anna Kendrick um, called, what the hell was that movie called? Ryan Reynolds, I'm going to Google, Anna Kendrick. The Voices. Nobody saw this movie, but it was dynamite. All right. Oh, crap. I lost my window. Where's my, oh, Jesus, where's the Pikachu? Did I really lose it? I Googled and then I lost the friggin' trailer. Oh my God. Oh, what a mess. I got to Google it again. Sorry. In the future, I'm going to be able to um, uh, edit these videos so they're not as boring as this one. Although, you know, who knows? Who can say what's good and what's bad? Pokemon Detect... Oh, here we go. Back to the thing. I hope there's no commercial. All right. Detective Pikachu in Whoa. 3D. Here we go. To Welcome Ryan to Rhyme City. City. This a looks a lot to me like, um, humans. uh, how do you call it? Ready Player One. Remember Ready Player One from way back in 2018? Tim, They're kind of like in some sort of cyber, cyber city. If you were anything like your dad. Oh, it's Ken Watanabe. Big ups to I Ken remember. Watanabe. All right, so there's a kid, you young, a young kid, are. looks handsome guy. Yeah. He's in his really bedroom looking sad. Out. I bet you the, the Pikachu is going to help him get that frown turned upside down. Come in there. All right, the little Where bugger. There he is. Little Pikachu. Use this. Oh, I'm doing a trailer. Uh, you walked geez, in the middle. Here we go. I know. You it's all right. It's okay. All right, there's the guy, the little the yellow guy. Or I will electrocute all right. You. He's a little fuzzy squirrel. It's dynamite. Did you just talk? Hey, the turtles, what? they're playing Howard. Did you just understand me? Uh, oh, Kalen and Mark Volman happy no, together. So Volman. to to vol man, like, like a Pikachu. Pikachu. He's a vol man. Pika, He's like a little vol. Pika, 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 Pika. He's adorable. You're adorable. He is adorable. He's a cute little yet. squirrel. No this reminds me a little bit of uh, the movie Ted with Mark Wahlberg. Dynamite picture. Very funny. Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. We're gonna do oh, they have to catch. Me. Oh, right. They're searching for other Pikachu's. That's the shtick of Pokemon. Is you gotta catch them all, right? So he's trying to catch the other uh, Pokemon. I know a little bit. Catch them all. And Snorlax. So I know that. All right. Listen up. We got ways to make you talk. Or mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. All right. There's another Pokemon. I can. I, there's like probably, there's like thousands of them, you know. My nephew in, wants babbled all night about the Pokemon. Can shove it. What? I can shove not the Digimon though. There's a difference between Pokemon and Digimon. All right, I don't know what's going on. This is this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm gonna have to watch this movie. Well, I don't have to. I skipped. Uh, what was the recent one? I put my foot down and skipped. Um. All right, so the trailer's over. There was something recently. I was just like enough with these. Dumb movies that I'm not interested in. 
Uh, I don't know, but Aquaman looks great. All right, so uh, that's the story with Pokemon. It's starting a new video now. Pete Davison, I'm not interested in him. Um, Pokemon, shut up! Pokemon the movie is coming out in a theater near you. Not really my scene, but I, I do have time to educate myself. That's what's great about America, is that you can take the time to educate yourself and learn. So what I'm going to do between now and 2019 is learn a little bit about the Pokemon and uh, the Pikachu, uh, which is a subset of Pokemon, by the way. You've got to catch them all, and by catching them all, you also catch some Pikachu. I learned today that Pikachu was not like one guy. There's not like Pikachu. There's like a Pikachu is like a, a race, like the Ewoks, right? Probably uh, very similar because they're both furry. Um, or, so the Pikachu, so there's like a billion, I don't know how many Pikachu there are. I'm not going to even pretend to know, but I know that there's many Pikachus. And this one is a detective, which is nice because... Well, it implies that there's crime, so that's not the greatest. But, uh, you know, in an ideal Pokemon utopia, there would be no need for a detective at all. But, you know, whatever. We're not there yet. So until that day comes, there's going to need to be a Detective Pikachu. And that's what this one is. He's played by Ryan Reynolds in the movie Detective Pikachu, coming next year. Um, it's probably going to be as good uh, or even better than Roger Gosnell's The Smurfs, which was Dynamite. If you recall, a uh, clumsy Smurf opened a vortex between the Smurf universe and our universe, a direct conduit, um, bypassing all immigration laws, and suddenly there were Smurfs, and they were working with Tim Gunn, if I'm not mistaken. Did you see the Smurfs? It was really terrific. And so the Smurfs are there with Tim Gunn, and um, Neil Patrick Harris was there, you know, singer, dancer, actor, um, triple threat, if ever there was one, one of the greats. Neil Patrick Harris, truly one of the greats. And that was The Smurfs, which came out a few years ago. It's probably available on uh, Crackle because it was a Sony movie, although I think Crackle is done. But if you still have Crackle, you can crack it up. I want to close by saying thank you for watching this video. It really meant a lot to me that you made it all the way to the end. I know if I was watching, there's no way I would have made it this far. I would have tapped out a long time ago and then still sent a note saying, ha, 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 you're so funny, Jordan. We love watching you on video. But I know that very few people will make it this far. If you made it this far, you probably are procrastinating. You probably have work to do or you got to go talk to your kids and, you, you know, they're a pain in the ass this time of night. You don't want to talk to them. So you're sitting there on the phone watching this video instead of doing what you're supposed to do. You should probably feel a little bad about that. But I'm not going to judge you, nor am I going to judge anybody who's excited for Detective Pikachu. There's such a sad time in America right now. We need all, all, the, um, all the joy we can get. And if we get our joy out of a little yellow squirrel voiced by Ryan Gosling, you know, what, what the hell difference does it make? Thank you, and see you next time. How do I turn this off?